Inspire. Innovation in Science Pursuit for Inspire Research, which is an innovation program that has been sponsored by Department of Science and Technology. The main motive of this particular Inspire Fellowship is that it doesn't believe in conducting competitive exams like your CSAR, DBT, BET, ICMR, ICAR and GATE examination. Rather than it has been believing in the talent of young students who are willing to do their research. Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel Nastin Padasale and I am your educator Nastin Pan. In this video, we have detailed explained about the eligibility condition and other important thing to be noted if you are planning to apply for this Inspire Fellowship. Because many students will be thinking they are ineligible or they are not eligible to apply for the Inspire Fellowship. Okay, so without any delay, let's get into the video. So first thing, first factor that you should consider in which college you studied. So if you are a government college or university and private college and autonomous college or different type of college, a student can get qualified from any colleges based on their uh, thing. Okay, so government colleges, what is the difference between government colleges and autonomous colleges? Mean as the name suggests, autonomous colleges means they can set syllabus, question paper, evaluation, faculty recommend, everything that will be done by the college committee itself. They no need to discuss the curriculum examination related aspects with some other colleges. Whereas if you take university means, all the university students will be writing the same question paper and the evaluation is also being di different. With respect to Inspire Fellowship, if, if you are a first rank holder who had got qualified from autonomous institution means you are not eligible to apply for this particular thing. If you want to know whether you had studied in autonomous colleges means, okay, if you have any confusion means you can check in this particular website that is University Grant Commission that is UGC.ac.in under this particular colleges dashboard you can get to know about autonomous colleges and if you click on the autonomous colleges list of autonomous colleges and then PDF will be open. So here you can be able to know status list of approved 871 autonomous colleges as they had released this particular year only. So simply give control F and you get to know whether your college name, type the college name and you can find whether if your college name is listed under this particular thing, then you had studied under autonomous colleges. So student, please don't lose heart of studying. You are losing this particular thing. If one opportunity doesn't knock the door, many opportunity are there. If you take mine, I had got gold medal and I had got a first rank from autonomous colleges only. So even though I have rank holder and I have gold medal and I have many different profile the thing is that since i had got qualified from autonomous colleges i'm not eligible from to apply for this inspired fellowship so please don't think in bad way you can apply for some other fellowship even i can suggest you to some other fellowship apart from this particular dbt csar and other thing next age is an important factor so if you are between 22 to 27 years old then you can eligible to apply if you are 28 years old and you have qualified your MSc last two years, means you are not eligible to apply friends. Many students are demanding this inspired committee to at least increase the age because due to Corona, many students have lost many things. So I don't know, from DST side, they didn't post any or anything related to that because they had given one month time period from March 1 to March 31st, only the date. So I don't know whether they will increase the age limit at all. If they have given any information, I'll definitely update you. Next, when did you complete your qualifying degree? And they had clearly informed in that particular thing itself. So, candidate who are Indian citizen and who had acquired their eligibility. Eligibility in this thing, you should get first rank or you should get qualified for Inspire Fellowship during 2020 year and 2021 year friends. Because uh, today, that is this year, they had released a notification and if you had qualified your MSc and you should have your MSc exam mark statement, everything in your hand. So those students who had qualified that you should complete your MSc and you should get all the documents in your hand if you are 2020 and 2021, you can be eligible to apply. Okay, so you had acquired the degree. Okay, if you are studying first year 2021 means you are not eligible to apply. Friends, you should acquire your degree certificate. Next, your class should have at least 10 students because in some cases in many parts in India, if you are a college student, many opt opt for master's degree program. So in many, many universities, only six students will be studying MSc for a particular course. Say if you are a MSc biotechnology and you are in your class, only six to seven students has uh, been, you compete with the nine student means you are not eligible to apply friends. Okay, your class should have at least 10 students only then you are eligible to apply. So here you can able to see this is a rank certificate friends. So 
here they had given us among number of students they are asking so this is at least you should compete yourself with nine students only then they will accept your university rank certificate or else they won't accept your rank certificate so this is again a disadvantage mm -hmm. i don't know many student has lost the opportunity since the the classroom consists of only nine uh, eight student or seven student okay so you along with nine student totally 10 students should be present in a class 10 or more than 10 students only then you can be able to apply for this inspired fellowship next in which colleges you study so there are two type of studying one is a regular colleges and another one is a distance education although many degrees like your biotechnology botany zoology these are lab oriented degrees and you can't be able to get your degrees in distance education so the thing is that you should be regular you should go to regular colleges you should be in present student okay if you are obtaining your degree that is your msc degree or some other degree like mtech program or mbbs program or bhu program through distance education mode means you are not eligible to apply for this inspire fellowship you should be regular you should be regularly going to colleges you should have a attendance everything should be there only then you can be able to apply for the inspire fellowship if you got distance education means nothing but they will be uh, they won't be going for colleges and all uh, since due to some other thing due to lack of transportation or some other benefit they will just uh, sit in their house and through the email only they will uh, they will they will uh, communicate with the colleges and only for writing examination only they will go for the colleges friends okay i hope many students who are watching this video you will be regularly going for colleges and not got your degree to distance education because uh, after completion of your degree if you got your degree to distance education means in your certificate itself you can see got degree to distance education like that okay so if you got your degree to distance education you are not eligible to apply okay so next thing is that First regarding courses, first rank holder at university level examination in postgraduate examination. Okay, so this is for non-medical student. You should be a first rank holder. If you are asking, you are a second rank holder means you are not eligible to apply. You should be a first rank holder. And some students are asking in my class, two had got first rank. Mean both the two are eligible to apply. Only thing is that you should have a rank certificate in your hand. Only then you are eligible to apply for this particular inspired fellowship. Even though two or three are occupying first rank position doesn't matter, friends. Okay, so with respect to non-medical student, you should be a postgraduate, friends. Okay, so basic sciences and apply senses you can be able to see so why i'm saying means here they had detailedly given you so free friends here you can be able to see first rank holder at university level examination in postgraduate they didn't even speak about undergraduate examination in basic sciences and applied sciences including your engineering and if you are engineering you should be an m tech or me and pharmacy m pharma and agriculture sciences veterinary sciences from any recognized institution and academic institution are eligible to apply so that's the thing they are saying so many students are getting confused whether the course which you studied are eligible to apply or or not so let me clarify you basic sciences means it includes like your normal courses like physics chemistry mathematical sciences botany zoology and many sciences okay applied sciences means you are like your biotechnology immunology those things are coming under applied sciences and if you are a msc applied geology then you are also eligible so student please don't think many all the different courses can eligible to apply for this inspired fellowship program because many student will be by their uh, motive they will take msc immunology msc virology msc entomology like that many will take so if you if you don't know about this particular thing you can contact either inspired cell if they didn't take your call you can contact department of science and technology or the most easiest thing is that you can go to your colleges or if you're having any rapport with your college professor or college lecturer or hod you can just mail them whether my course say msc agriculture msc entomology am i eligible for applying for this inspire fellowship they will guide you or simply go to google type your course name and whether it is coming in a basic sciences or applied sciences just know about it and try to apply so for all the science team student you can eligible to apply friends okay agriculture sciences all the agriculture sciences and veterinary sciences you can eligible to apply only thing for non-medical student you should be a post graduate if you are under graduate say b tech b e or bsc means you are not eligible to apply since it is for a phd program next respect to medical student i am saying you should be a first rank holder a graduate or post graduate level examination in medicine so medicine they are saying conducted by university or anything so you should be worrying what is medical courses at field so these are the list of things if you are a bds 
program BAMS, Ayurvedic medicine, Unani medicine, B pharma is not eligible to apply friends. Okay, since sorry, sorry, B pharma is eligible since this is for medical student. If you are a BSc in pharmaceutical sciences, you are not eligible to apply. If you are a B pharma which is coming under this medicine field, you are eligible to apply. Bachelor of Occupational Therapy is also eligible to apply since they have clearly mentioned it is for graduate and postgraduate. Whereas if you take non-medical student, here they had didn't even mention graduate. It is for only postgraduate. Okay. Okay, so if you are a medical student, you can check this particular thing, MBBS, BHMS and BMLT. Since uh, this diploma in homeopathic medicine and all not eligible to apply because they are speaking about only graduate and postgraduate, they didn't mention about diploma. And if you are having D pharma also, you are not eligible to apply. And if you are having BSc nursing means you are eligible to apply. But the thing is that I don't know whether this BSc nursing is coming under medicine field. If it is coming under medicine field, you too can be eligible to apply. If you want more information, you can contact your uh, college or DST or Inspire. Next, Inspire Scholar. This is a different field, friends. And many students are asking, what does mean by this Inspire Scholar? See, Inspire Scholar is nothing but he or she will already get it. Will already got fellowship. So, if you check on in this particular website, so let me share, share with you what is this Inspire Fellowship and all. So, this innovation in science is a whole thing and this inspire team will benefit different group of students starting from six standard you can get inspire fellowship if you are a mother then you can transfer this message to any of your student who are six standard or your children who are six standard starting from six standard this inspire is giving fellowship so seeds program she program awrc program so seeds program is for six standard to ten standard student they will give monthly five thousand rupees whereas if you take she program if that is only coming under inspire scholarship so this is for college for your BSc degree and MSc degree for 5 years, every 1 year you will be getting 80,000. So, if you are a 12th standard student watching this video, then you can apply in your BSc program and try to get 80,000 per year. For 5 years, they will give you 80,000. Okay. So, for all different students, they are giving fellowship. And with respect to this particular AORC program, which is an assured opportunity for research career, this is an Inspire Fellowship and Inspire Faculty. So, this Inspire Awards, Inspire Internship is for age from 10 to 15 age so here you can be able to see friends this is a, a thing i can say so currently they are giving fellowship so already if you got any inspired internship at your school level or inspired scholarship at your college level then you are also eligible to apply for this particular phd program so for phd also they are giving fellowship so here you can be able to see age wise and with respect to thousand fellowship will be awarded for top ranker in any science engineering medical field so this is for age 20, 22 to 27 at phd level they are giving so, if you already got any of this fellowship, then you are eligible to be considered as an Inspire Scholar. So, if you already got any fellowship due from Inspire Committee during a 10th standard, 12th standard. So, starting from 6th standard, I can say. 6th standard to BSc, if you have got any fellowship, then you will be considered as an Inspire Scholar. So, if you are an Inspire Scholar, means you no need to get any first rank. But the thing is that you should get at least 70 percentage of mark. This is only for those students who are considered as an Inspire Scholar. Inspire Scholar is nothing but he or she will already get any fellowship from Inspire. Next thing is normal student, you should be compulsory, you should be a first rank holder. Next, regarding rank certificate, many students are worrying where you can get this rank certificate. So, in the official website itself, under this guideline or format, so let me show you in this website itself, I will show you friends. Okay, so here you can check, this is a rank certificate format. So, you can go to official website and under guideline format, fellowship you can select and here if you will take format. Okay, so rank certificate template. So, this is how rank certificate, you, it, this should be issued by the registrar of the university. Okay, so you should write your name of the university and your address of the university, not your address. And this should be filled by the registrar, your name, your department and your roll number or register number. And if you are secured first rank among total number of students. So, how many students has attempted exam or write exam along with you? whether in a bachelor's degree of medicine or master's in science, engineering, agriculture sciences from tenure of your thing. So, for two years, what is the tenure? And it is also certified that your name, everything should be given. And this should be signed by the control of examination along with the signature of skill and also register of C. Okay, so this is the template for rank certificate. Many students are worrying, I don't have any rank certificate, I lost a rank certificate, then you can, from university itself, you will give rank certificate. That's also valuable. If you lost or if you have any difficulty in obtaining rank certificate, you can just download them and go to your university and try to fill up the phone as soon as possible. Next thing is with regard to, okay, this is an again important thing. 
first rank holder in any specialization giving at MSc level second and last year are not eligible for offer in SPI fellowship. This is nothing but say uh, all colleges will have at least five parts. If you are a, if you are studied means you know part one, part two subject, part three subject, major subject, part four, part five. Part one and two language. Part three sometimes consists of allied subjects. So in the college which I study for me that is MSc biotechnology will have to take allied subject as chemistry. Whereas MSc geology student will take allied subject as some other sciences like allied subject, major subject, interdisciplinary majors, NCCNs, like that parts will be taken. Okay, so you should be a first time holder in overall category. So in my, some colleges, uh, student who is securing first mark in allied subject, he will she will also be awarded first time. It's not a matter. You should be overall all the thing. You should be a first time holder. So in any specialization, if you are getting first time, means you are not eligible to apply for this inspired fellowship. They will just cancel your application. So if you have any doubt, then you should be fast your preparation. At least try to apply today or tomorrow or within this week itself, so that if cancelling application you are revise your application okay so if you are going for any specialization say if you are a msc in botany and in your msc second year you are going to take agriculture sciences or entomology as a specialization means and you are getting first time in that particular specialization subject means you are not eligible to apply friends so try to go or try to avoid taking any specialization it will demand you because you can't even get any government job future okay so i hope i had detailed to explain you what is an eligibility condition for inspire fellowship i hope many students will be getting benefit friends okay so all the best from my side i hope all students who are applied for this inspire fellowship have to be selected for the inspire fellowship so every year thousand fellowship will be awarded friends so if you have any doubts please do tell me in the comment section and if you want to add up some more point regarding eligibility then please do tell me in the comment section so many, many students will be getting benefited thank you friends thanks for watching me this video i'll meet you with some other good content in upcoming videos stay tuned bye